There's a reason the Netherlands loves the color orange, because they think of themselves as COVID code yellow, when in fact, they're COVID code red. Greg Shapiro here, the American Netherlander with United States of Europe, this episode dedicated to the COVIDiot. COVIDiot, defined as 1. A stupid person who ignores COVID warnings in an effort to increase COVID infections. Are you seriously promoting going to a dance festival just one day after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? What a COVIDiot. And now it's time for at least 19 COVIDiot jokes, starting with a joke that was contributed by a fan. Before Corona, when I was in the supermarket, I used to cough to cover up a fart. Now, I fart to cover up a cough. The Dutch health minister may be an accidental covid idiot, much like Hogwarts' Gilderoy Lockhart. But then there are the deliberate covid idiots who refuse to get a jab. We all want to fight the virus, and we all want the big reopening. But there's a right way to do it, and a wrong way. America has been fighting to flatten the curve of COVID infections, but now they're flattening a different curve, largely due to vaccine hesitancy, largely due to anti-vax misinformation, brought to you by the people who put up billboards like, vaccines contain toxic ingredients. The people who say, what if instead of injecting ourselves with toxins, we just inject ourselves with a little bit of the disease and let our immune systems do the rest? Yeah, that's how most vaccines work. As in, got polio? Me neither. Thanks, science. If Fox News were around in the 50s, we'd still be fighting polio. Anti-vaxxers have been around since they were called anti-vaccinationists protesting the cure for smallpox in 1924. It's basically Karen not doing social distancing, Karen getting COVID, and then blaming 5G. Speaking of 5G, this is an anti-electricity cartoon from the early 1900s. Look, it'll kill us all, including our horses dead in the streets. Nowadays, it's the people pointing out that raccoon is an anagram of corona. Look at them building 5G towers and wearing masks. The same people who used to carry on about chemtrails. The people saying, question everything, including your conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. And when you need to trigger all your conspiracy theorists' friends at once, flying chemtrail-spreading 5G masts shooting vaccines. A lot of Americans aren't just anti-vaxxers, but anti-maskers, making it an issue of personal liberty. But personal liberty does not give me the freedom to drill a hole in the side of the boat we all share. Here's what anti-maskers think they look like versus what they actually look like. Anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers, brought to you by the same logic that says... All houses matter. Take off your mask because God's got you covered? I love hearing conservative Christians talk about how they're not going to let something invisible control their lives. Meanwhile in America, it's the first time in 80 years that church membership dips below 50%. Also in America, QAnon membership is up 50%. Coincidence? According to Merlin Mann, my gut feeling is that most conspiracy theorists have never been project managers. Their optimism is adorable. This meme suggests protect your privacy by cutting off the antenna the government put on your car tires. Corona 666. COVID-1984. COVID-19. Hey, Ox. Yeah, those who think the COVID vaccine will modify their DNA should see it as an opportunity. These are people who won't install a COVID safe app due to privacy concerns, but then disclose personal information in a Facebook quiz to find out which frozen character they are. I mean, who needs conspiracy theories when the cause of a lot of today's evils is standing right in front of you? Or the ignorant are ignorant of their ignorance. Again, vaccine research, anti-vax research. YouTube is not a news source. To review, don't believe everything you read on the internet, so said Bob Dylan, the drummer of Metallica. Do y'all remember before the internet that people thought the cause of stupidity was the lack of access to information? Mm, yeah, it wasn't that. Here's my personal theory. I wonder how many people who refuse to get the vaccine are actually just suffering from undiagnosed needle anxiety. With that in mind, there are now micro needles that not only alleviate shots pain, but they might help with global vaccination distribution. Instead of a needle puncturing your skin, they now have a medicated patch that you press into your arm and, when you remove it, it feels just like Velcro. Apparently, the technique is based on silicon chip technology. So the ironic thing is that if 
this new technique works to get more COVIDiots vaccinated, it may well be because we are injecting them with microchips. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. No one does that. Please subscribe or I'll get in big trouble.